What's up guys, I'm Jacob, this is Benny. On this episode, we put our 1965 Impala on full air suspension. Our build comes to a standstill as the Impala meets a tow truck. Then we head out for a coastal joy ride, make a few deliveries, prepare for our next trip and catch up with a few mates along the way. Welcome, Welcome to, to Bag Builds. Builds. We're gonna pump some California love in this beast or what? Nah, aqua barbie girl. We've been absolutely smashing out these bag builds projects. It's now time to get stuck into my very own 1965 Chevy Impala. This gangster rig is getting the full treatment, shocks, front and rear full air suspension, and our three preset height auto leveling system. So to get started with bagging the Impala, we're gonna start by removing the coil springs. We're gonna remove a lot of the factory components, so control arms, pan hard, and we're gonna replace with a bunch of new gear, which we'll run you through as we go. So let's get stuck into it. After 55 years, it's about time we replaced all this rusty as suspension with some new running gear that it truly deserves. Well said, Benny. That is why you don't take a 1965 Impala to the Glasshouse Mountains. Hey, Benny. <laughs> so Benny's just doing the finishing touches of the preparation work. I'm now gonna run you through what you actually get in the full air suspension kit for the rear. Now, Benny's gonna be replacing pretty much the hole underneath of the suspension there. So we've got replacement sway bars, all heavy duty gear. We've got the panard bar, we've got the upper control arm. We've also got the lower control arms as well. We've got the heavy duty airbag man airbags here. These are gonna bolt straight onto the lower control arm. We've also got our upper brackets. They bolt straight on like this. Now that bracket goes up into the spring seat tower there. So that's pretty much how it's gonna look like underneath the vehicle. So that's the airbag and all the mounting brackets, um, the arms and everything. Next one, we've got the shock absorbers. Now we're replacing the shocks there with some Fox adjustable shocks. Another thing, the airbags, they have a lifetime manufacturer's warranty. So you're all covered there and all the nuts and bolts and fitting instructions are all included as well. So, without further ado, let's get into it.
So as you can see, Benny's just bolted in one side. Now we've got the upper bracket that locates on the top of the airbag. That goes up into the tower up here, into the previous coil spring tower. The lower control arm bolts straight to the bottom of the airbag there and then locates on the mounting points. Right there, what Benny's done, so. Now that he's on that side, we'll get this side into place and then we're good to go to mount the other components. So after installing the rear airbags and cycling it through travel, um, we found at full compression, the airbag rubber actually rolled over onto the, um, like the mount on the control arm. So what we're doing is to prevent damage to the rubber over time, we're gonna install a crash plate on the bottom and that'll just allow the rubber just to press up against here um, and not get damaged. So now, We've got the crash plates installed. It will give you a good idea when I compress it of how they work. So we haven't chucked one in the top because that's basically a flat disc as well. Won't cause any drama. So you can see there, it just rolls up onto the crash plate and doesn't touch the sharp edges of the lower bracket on the control arm. Impalas do not come stock with a sway bar. This one doesn't, so we're going to be installing a muscle bar to this one. Nice and easy install, and it'll improve stability and handling. As opposed to the conventional factory shocks, these Fox shock absorbers are fine-tuned to work beautifully with the air suspension system. The airbags are all bolted into the rear, ready to go. It's now time to move on to the front. So what we're gonna be doing is replacing a lot of the factory parts. This is gonna be including the 
upper and lower control arms, the sway bar, taking the coil springs out and the shock absorbers and replacing them with a air strut. Now these are a Firestone airbag we're using on these struts here. So that being said, Benny's gonna whack the tires on onto the rear. We're gonna take the tires off on the front and the rim and then we're gonna get stuck into the front end. Let's do it. We were having a bit of a struggle underneath the Impala, so we had to get the old boy down to show us how it's done. Now, Dad's removed plenty of suspensions in his time, but if you know Chevy front ends, the front coil springs are pretty tough to get out and they are locked and loaded. So it's pretty important to get these out as safe as possible. Now that the hard yards are done, Big Rich will lead us to it. What do you reckon? You reckon he'll like Big Rich or? Maybe. <laughs> The control arms are out. It's now time to remove the bump stops, trim the upper spring seats to give us enough airbag clearance for the shock waves. done so we've cut the spring seat out the upper cup there um let's have a look at the other side as well yeah check that out 
So you've spray painted everything as well, haven't you? Yep. Rust treated, Rust. spray painted, then done underbody. Yep. Paint. Um, oh the, yeah. The inner welds are a little bit wobbly, bit. but looks all right. A little bit rough. Yeah. But that's not gonna like when, once we get this into place, it's not gonna like rub nah. on the bag or anything like that. So no. there's a there's a massive gap in there, so it'll be fine. So next step now is bolt that into the top and then move on to lower control arms. Got to drill a couple holes here, um, mount the sway bar through, and then we're into it. So all in all, it's a bigger job than what the rear was, pretty much. Nice. <laughs> all right, keen as. <laughs> If you're installing this kit to a fully refurbished Impala, you're looking at about a four to five day install. In our case, there was a bit of rust, it was in a bit of poor condition, but that's part and parcel of working with the classing and it took us a little bit longer. It is 55 years old after all, but if you're gonna be installing this system, make sure all safety equipment is used and safety standards are met. So everything is in now. All we got to do is put the hub assembly back together and then route all the airlines. We're getting close and I'm so keen. That is one side in. So to finish off the airline routing and to allow me to plug it in and inflate the airbags, I'm going to mount the ASU, which includes the compressor, valve block and ECU, and then we'll move on to mounting the tank. So I've prepped the boot and put in a bunch of rib nuts, um, which will make the install so much easier. Um, so let's get stuck in. <laughs> While Benny does the finishing touches of the ECU and the valve block, I'm going to give you a quick rundown on the compressor we're using in our auto leveling system. Now we are the Asian Pacific distributors for the German built AMK compressors. They're supplied by our partners over in Europe, DriveRight. These are a high quality compressor used in OE applications around the world and also plenty of aftermarket applications. So while Benny finishes that off, we can then bolt the AMK compressor into place.
So what we're doing here is figuring out where is best to mount the height sensors. This is gonna give us the ability to sense the movement from the raised to the lower position. Now, Benny has made up a little bracket here that we can mount to the body. So we mount this part up onto the body of the vehicle and then the rod will be mounted on the lower control arm here. So that's where we're gonna see the movement. Um, so yeah, let's get into it. The height sensors are a crucial part of this system. If you don't have them installed, you won't be able to set your three preset heights with the handheld controller. Not only are our aluminium air tanks slim line and lightweight, they come in three and one gallon sizes. They also come with the globally recognized SAE J10 approval, which is awesome. Everyone bangs on about flex on a four-wheel drive track, but have a look at Benny's flex while wiring. It's a unique sight. <laughs> The time has finally come. Benny, are you excited? So excited. This <laughs> day couldn't have come any sooner. So we've got the whole system installed, airbags, all the other suspension components and the onboard air supply system. It's all ready to go. So the last step, the last final step we have to do is calibrate the system and that's setting the lowered height, the drive height and the high mode. All we have to do is go through a little sequence on the handheld controller that Benny's holding over there. Get a few measurements and away we go. Let's do it.
time in the Impala with the full air suspension. Let's go! So we had a little bit of a situation. Benny, update us on what actually happened because this one was a bloody doozy. Well, the Impala needed a wheel alignment so bad, so I organized a tow truck to take it to McCormack's. But that's where everything went downhill. As they were dropping the Impala off, it was on a tilt bed. They didn't have the winch rope on. Um, and just it basically like just rolled off once they removed the straps. Um, it's damaged the lower control arm, the sway bar, sway bar linkage. All that work so, we did. Well, you did. Yeah, basically had to order all those parts from the States again. Um, wait a couple months and then get it over to McCormack's. Once it was there, they fitted it all for me. Um, did the wheel alignment. And Happy luckily days. they work on all these types of vehicles all the time, so they did a bloody good job on that. So props yep. to McCormack's. And I think we're just lucky that none of the body was damaged. <laughs> That's it. Roll the clip. McCormack's Auto Service have been around for three generations. They work on vintage cars, classic cars, all your modern cars. So if you're in the Sandgate area, make sure you get in touch with those legends because they will look after your pride and joy. Alrighty, so we finally got the Impala back. It's been a couple of months. Now we're going to take it for a quick test drive and then we'll show you through over the next coming days. We'll um, take it for a drive up the coastline. Take me for a ride, big boy. We would just like to say a massive thank you to everyone supporting the channel. Make sure you drop a like and a comment on the video and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. It's now time to take this classic for a cruise down one of our favorite Sunday sesh locations. We're gonna kick the morning off with one of our local coastal drives, pick up some supplies because we have a massive Explore Life episode or trip happening tomorrow. So yep. we've gotta get prepped for it. It's gonna be good. <laughs> We're also gonna show you how you can benefit from this fantastic air suspension and just look damn cool. <laughs>
has a bit of stripe every time he drives this Impala out of his house. Underneath the exhaust is fairly close and he's pretty well about to scrape. So having the airbags in here, he'll be able to raise the vehicle right up and he'll clear that, no drums at all. Let's do it. towns here this is what we do pretty much every Sunday get the classic cars out even just the four-wheel drives and take the family out and we just enjoy it it's a beautiful run down here so enjoy the scenery it's bloody epic isn't it today is amazing it is blue skies enjoy it the old Hornybrook Bridge built in 1935 that was demolished in 2011 due to rotting conditions but the two bridges that are there today is the Ted Smouth and the Houghton Highway they stretch from Sandgate to Clontarf and that's nearly three kilometers long so that's pretty decent make sure you go for a drive over these bridges either sunset or sunrise the views are spectacular especially when the sun is reflecting off the sand and water. Absolutely beautiful. First stop along our coastal route is our local Woolies to grab a few supplies for our upcoming Explore Life trip. Ben likes a strawberry one. I like passion fruit, lychee, natural. So this trip we're going on with the Explore Life. Looks like it's going to be a bit of a storm. It's going to be muggy. And it's probably going to be hot like it is today. So Ooh, yeah, you've got to keep the fluids up. Natural. Literally get the fluids up. And mate, we're supporting the local. Supporting the locals, mate. That's what we're doing. Hey! <laughs> 
It's now time to showcase the next feature of this system, and that is low mode. This is perfect for when you go to your shows to get that epic stance. And for Benny, in this scenario, when he goes to the hairdresser in the car park just to make it look sick. Hey, Benny. I'm about due for one. You may have noticed a couple of methods we've been using to adjust the air suspension such as the rocker switches for simple up and down or via our handheld controller. The rocker switches allow you to cycle through the three preset heights only. The handheld allows you to do that as well plus give you manual control, service mode, you can adjust the airbags front to back and side to side and you can add on if you want to the horizon levelling feature for the van applications, caravans, whatever it may be. It's bloody awesome, isn't it? Amazing. Alrighty, low mode was epic, but not as epic as the pies we we're about to devour, hey Benny? Mmm, delicious. Yes. Damn, how many pies did you have? What do you mean? I only had one. Well, lucky we got these bags to level us out and get us riding nice. Our scenic route has come to an end. Let's fang it up to the Sunshine Coast, grab some beverageinos from your mates and go get our Bush Company awning installed to our LC200. That is gonna be awesome, I can't wait for that. We also go and deliver a bit of a surprise for Sammy Isles' upcoming build. If you're in the Calandra area, make sure you stop by your mate's brewery because the beers are awesome and the feed is insane. It's a I good must spot. say, those wings were fire. <laughs> it's now time to go visit our favourite South African, Dean from the Bush Company. What do you reckon? I thought I was your favourite South African. Sorry, did you hear something, Ben? We've just rocked up at the Bush Company. The 200 is gonna be kitted out with a pretty sick awning. Are you Can't excited wait. about that? Can't wait to see it. 
and this, use it. Yeah, this awning is literally going to wrap around the side and out through the back. So we're going to get a heap of shelter for this explore trip that's about to happen. There is apparently going to be a big storm come through on Saturday. So this and is going to give this is going to give us good shelter, and I'm pretty keen. And also, we'll get out of the sun as well because we burn like crazy. <laughs> Let's get into it. Dean's just about to get this awesome awning on the LC200. What we're going to do to help him out is drop the bags in the rear right down so he can have easy access up to the top there. Let's do it. How good is full air suspension? Being able to lower it makes it so much easier to access the boot, the roof, and even make it easier for the family to get in and out of the vehicle. No worries at all, so good. just getting the bag lined up and just double checking that we've got the correct spacing after this we make four small incisions for the um, bolts to poke through that's the best way we've found for sealing up the bags from dust and water so that should be all good and uh, yeah we should be able to then mount it up top spin it over yeah that's it just basically we watch the zip line now make sure that's running through the center so it's pretty straight and then you'll be able to feel where the bolts are. So we've got two over there, and we've got two over there. So we'll just cut it up next, and then it's all done. Ready for fitting. Just finished up at the yeah. bush company have a look at this awning that is amazing so what do you call this one this is our 270 xt awning, awning. yeah, yeah. So, so it good. works really well for the 200 so we can get them up on the on the full platform racks so that you can all the way around all the way around so it still good. clears the spoiler on the back of the car so it actually can tuck up and out of the way yeah yeah it's good That's and if good. we're wanting to adjust the airbags and stuff like that we don't have to worry about poles or anything like that so we can just literally set this up and adjust as we need and not have to worry about a thing. So good. Awesome. Love it. No worries. Special delivery for Sammy boy. What do you reckon? Is he going to like the color of this? I've got a feeling he will. <laughs> We've just rocked up to Sammy's awesome establishment. We've got the goods here in the back of the Impala. Bit of a secret little scenario we've got going on here. Special build. Oh, we're going to get Sammy to open this one up. So you'll have to guess what it's going into as well. Let's get him. Let's go get him. Sammy boy, you in here? Oh, Howdy. How are you big boy? How are you? How, are you? <laughs> how was the drive in the old Impala? Dude, warm. It was <laughs> hot. It's ass. warm. It's, yeah. Yeah, I'm not used to this Queensland weather. It's like but she's not summer there. now, so. Yeah. Oh, well, should be good, but. Have a look at that. How's the delivery service? Yeah, <laughs> look at that. Dude. Straight to the door. You're gonna open this one, this bad boy, eh? So you just spill the beans on what this is going in, or what? Nah, not nah, yet. Nah. We'll Top leave, secret. We'll leave it up to you. <laughs> Something <laughs> unexpected for me. Oh, she's a bit of weight in there. Oh, there is. There we go. Yeah. Where do you want? Them, All right, I know somewhere in the middle here. Get some pieces flying everywhere. 
I'm going to give you some coin for this, hold on. Oh, that's all good. Oh, yeah. oh. There you go, you get half each. Oh, done. Look at that. Look at that, eh? <laughs> <laughs> bright this morning, I'm like, what am I going to do with that? Is <laughs> something alive in here? Your favourite colour's pink, isn't it? Your car's pink, isn't it? Is that what you did? <laughs> is it not normally like that? <laughs> yeah, it'll go good with the blue. <laughs> If you want to find out what Sammy's got planned for this new build, Benny, where do you find him? Make sure you go subscribe to his channel, Built Not Bought, link in the description below. Because this build is going to be epic. That's a wrap guys, we hope you enjoyed watching this episode, there is plenty more to come so stay tuned. Don't forget to like and subscribe and hit that notification bell so you don't miss out and we'll see you next time on Bag Builds. Bag Builds.